In this video, we are creating an app like Swiggy. So let's start working on this app. So whenever this is the splash screen, whenever someone clicks, then they will reach this form. So enter your name, suppose Edular. Enter the phone number. Then here email. Suppose Edular email we will write. Here you have to enter the password. Suppose you can sign up. Here you have to add the address. Suppose the address you can type plot number two. Bangalore, Karnataka. Proceed to here. We can see that our name is reflecting here. Then I want to buy from a restaurant. I will go to McDonald's. Um, I have to buy suppose this Mikalu Tikki meal. I will click. See here it is reflecting. Here it is reflecting the amount. So I will proceed to pay and my order is successfully placed. So today we are going to create this app from starting. We will create this app from scratch. So I will be making it with you. So let's go to code.org, sign in. You have to first sign in, create a new app lab project. Fine. Next, we need some images. We need the images. Here we need some assets. So, so these are the images required for making our app. So now I know you don't have these images. I know it, but don't worry. Right now, I am giving you the images. So, I already have my drive open, and for you all, I will upload that folder. So, I am uploading this folder. So, it has been successfully uploaded. Now, I will share it with you all. This is because there is some error today in my network. So, I have copied this link. And now I will give it to you. I so you and you all can uh, copy this link. Please copy this link Wait, let me make it too much or see copy this link If you I am not able to copy it and I will try to paste it in the comment section or in the chat section. And I also will try to put it in the description section after the video. 
so fine i hope this much you have done now shall i move ahead so now we have to upload the images in screen fine choose not a background image it will keep a simple image here So let's just put the images in the appropriate screens. Now screen three. Now, now you might be thinking that we should keep it here in the background itself, but no, it doesn't look nice. No screen five. Great. I will just remove this picture. That image was not satisfied. Actually, I am not getting this picture, so we will just take a screenshot. Wait. I think I have the image. Just a second. First of all, I will just delete this picture. And next, I'm going to upload a file. Then I will go to download and I will upload this image. Next, I will just choose it. Fine. Next, some more screens we need. So, upload it. Next, so in this image, we are going to put the image, yes, but in different way. Let's see. Image is here. We choose it. We already have the image uploaded at the splash screen. 
Then here we'll put a text. And here we will type Please enter your address. So now we can do all the changes you want to do. Then you will put a text input. Here the users will type their address. And here ID you will put address. So we have all our screens ready. Now we will do the main work. We will go to screen 2. We are going to add a label here. Remove the text and add the ideas. Add uh, sorry, that is restaurant. Restaurants. Fine. Also, you have to put one more label here, two labels actually. Here, write welcome. Welcome here, just that number text and here write down the label. Next, go to screen 3, put one more label. Then put the label as McDonald's. Then go to screen 4 and here put two labels, no text. Here duplicate and here in the first. You will write add one and in the second you will type add two. Then you will add a one more label. No test. That's just proceed. You will add a text input here. Here and in the text input it will just be, it will show the total text, total amount. We will just write total. Now in the screen 5, nothing you need to do. In the screen 6, here. Just put text inputs. Duplicate it to one, two, three, four, five times. Three, four, five. Now put it accordingly.
just set it up Fine now in the first write down the placeholder enter your name then here write down name then here write down what was it actually sorry it was name then what was this this was 10 digit mobile number So here you will write, enter your mobile number, here write down, wait we need to do a change, here write down phone, here write down, enter your name. Then here write down, Here it email ID. Just a second. I'm just confused. Here you will write in the mail. Just a second. Here, let's just destroy your cards. Wait. God, this is password 2. And then here, password 1. Then it will You enter your password then here we will add a button here you will just write sign up Sign up, or we can just put the text as none, and we will erase the background color. Its opacity to be as none. Fine. You can do like this all. Next, we go to screen seven. And here it's all done. Now let's start coding. So now we want whenever this someone clicks on this flash screen, then it will open the second screen too. So when someone clicks on screen one, that is flash screen, it what will happen? It will open this screen that is screen two. Then. Set screen 
screen to now when someone now here what we want we will do that later first let's do when someone clicks on restaurant this will copy it and paste it now when someone clicks on restaurant it will open screen 3 and it's already copied they just copy it and when someone clicks on mcdonalds it will open screen 4 then when F, then they click on proceed it will open screen 5 now the screen 6 and 7 is important so instead of then someone click on screen 1 it will open screen 6 and when they will click on screen 6 when they will open screen 6 it will open screen 7 I am extremely sorry what I am doing when they will click on sign up it will open that when they will click on this sign up button then screen 7 will open and here we forget to add a button Proceed at this website. Proceed at this, and when someone will click on proceed button. They will be redirected to screen 2. So let's see if it's working. Restaurants. Uh, we have the wrong ID. It's not a proceed address. So enter your mobile number. Let's just leave it for now. Enter your address. Okay, fine. Restaurant order is coming. Proceed to pay, it's coming all good. Now let's add the functionalities. Now in, in the screen too, I want that the name in screen 7, this name, the, the user that enters will become here in this name label. So what I will do when this button is clicked, when sign up button is clicked, it they will be redirected to set screen 7. Plus, one more thing will happen. The text, the set So, what we are doing is set text The ID which is we will go to screen two first name label it is name label so when we hover over an ID then it will the name of that ID will show to us. 
So name label and it will keep it as go to show text. We show blog. This is all the get text from the ID. Which ID? Name. So then their name will appear here. Plus, I also want one more thing. Wait. Let's see if it's working. For now, I'm just typing the name. Suppose Edular Sign up. Yes, it's coming, but it's not fully coming. Fine, let's figure it out. Just solve it out. Because it's too small. That is why, but it's working. Now what we can do next is, in this screen 6, now we want that, we want that this password and this password should be same, otherwise they would not be able to move ahead. So first of all we will go to design, add a label, then type in, Word doesn't match it and you can give the text color to be as red. Fine. So this is done. You can do like this. And but then we'll go to code. We don't want this to be seen right now. So what we will do? That now what we can do. What we can do now is whenever someone this is screen six, right? So when they will be the screen six, it will hide the element. And it is meaning this element to be as warning. Next, next here what we can do is now what we can do next is whenever they will click the sign up button, if password, we will go to if else statement. If the password go to show block. Just a second. We go to show block. Here, we sign up. We will add this if else statement. So here, if go to match is what is equal if this password one, this ID that is password one. So what you can do is go to UI controls, that is user interface controls, you will get the text, if the text we get the id, suppose that the id is password and this id is password too, so what will happen if This they equal and equal, then they then what will happen? Then it will get the screen. The screen will be going to screen seven. But if it's not so, if it is not equal, then 
it will show an element it will show an element that is warning so they will not be able to go to the time they don't do the need fine this much we have done let's run check it password 123 here is 1 so for 1, 2, 3, 4 I type in let's see wait but it is the element is not high hidden right now because we have not done one day cut Now it's not showing now if I enter the wrong password that is one two three four and then I will type one two three then see it will not go ahead but if I type correct then only it will go to the next screen. See now what you will write is you will write this that on event when add one is clicked then what will happen let's go to the screen so when this add one is clicked then it will show this here total it will show the amount and when add two is clicked then it will show let's check is that app working click you have to enter your mobile number enter your name Enter your email. Enter your password. So we know that it should be correct. If I write uh, wrong, then it will not proceed ahead. Just a second. See, password does not match. But if I correct it, it will match. So here yeah, you have to enter the address. Then I forgot to write the name or text of the button. You can change it. Then you can see it is coming. Welcome, Medula. Well, students, McDonald's. I will suppose buy this. Is the puff? It is showing the amount here. I will proceed to pay. My order is successfully placed. So with this, we have created the float or swiggy. And we will be making many more such apps in upcoming videos.